All right. So um, this is Colet Bartow at the Office of Public Instruction, and it looks like my friend Christy Mockstutz is here. And for this inaugural Digital Blast slash online professional learning community, we're just going to um, step through a couple of resources and some new ideas and new things that are happening um, here for the school year and also model for you the format for the Digital Blast or Online Professional Learning Community Series this, this year. So um, if you are joining us for the first time and are planning to join us in October for the next live session, we are using GoToMeeting and the screen that you see gives you an idea of the choices for audio. You can use your computer audio, which is recommended to be a headset and microphone, or you can also use a phone call. Um, both options are available to you. And then in terms of interaction during the course of this live session, uh, you can use the chat. And when you um, are logged in to go to meeting, you'll see chat as an option. You can enter and type in messages and ask questions and um, do make your introductions as well. So that's just a little familiarity with the GoToMeeting platform. And so I'll go ahead and go into the next slide, which is our Welcome to the Montana Teacher Librarian Digital Blast slash online PLC. And I'll um, talk a little bit more about that in just a second. But um, in the past, we've used Google Hangouts, and um, these recordings will also be posted in YouTube so that you're able to view them later, um, but it is a little bit different platform um, than we have used in the past, so uh, you'll definitely see a few differences as we go forward. Um, as I said, we're transitioning from the digital blast format to an online professional learning community. So there will be more live discussion components um, in the in the format for this year, and we'll just get your feedback on that and see how we like it and try it out. So um, as I said earlier, we want to uh, kind of dive into some new things that you may not be familiar with, uh, particular to the Office of Public Instruction, and give you kind of a preview, um, a kind of sneak preview of something that we're excited that will be coming over the next couple of months. But um, for one thing, hopefully uh, you have already looked at the OPI Learning Opportunities Portal, and perhaps you even found your way to this um, meeting or to a course um, or a workshop somewhere in Montana. But the OPI Learning Opportunities Portal is essentially a calendar of all of the professional learning events that happen across the state of Montana. So I'm going to click on that link and bring this over so you can see a live view of the portal. Um, you can view a calendar. And for instance, today the Montana Teacher Librarian Online PLC is happening. You'll see the description and information about how to either access an online workshop or um, in the case of, oh, let's see, um, the Montana History Conference is something that's happening in Stevensville and Hamilton, and you can find out more about that. Um, or uh, something that we're really excited about, it, the Imagining the Possibilities Arts Education Leadership Summit. Mm -hmm. It's also happening. It's happening here in Helena on Friday and Saturday. And Christy, did you want to say a little bit about that, just to let folks with that know what that's about? Absolutely. With the, um, the Board of Public Ed adopted the new art standards um, in July, and we're very excited about these new art standards. And so we're having an Arts Education Leadership Summit to celebrate the new art standards and to bring arts educators, working artists um, together for a weekend to share ideas for arts integration in the classroom across grade levels and across curriculum, and really just have the focus be on the arts and how the arts support all curricular areas. Um, in, in a school, and it's just there are um, there's a pre-conference workshop Friday and opening reception Friday evening, and both of those will take place at the Myrna Loy and at Helena College. There are all-day workshops taking place um, with Montana teacher leaders in the arts 
on Saturday. So we're really excited that this event is happening and hopefully you can come join. Uh, right on your screen you can click on the link you, and um, if you go to the portal those links are live right to the registration. All the events are free. You just need to register to let us know you're coming. So thanks, Cole, for letting me talk about that. Oh, absolutely. And I think it was really important to mention that because um, Christy and I, for the last year or so, have really been working a lot on standards. And I'll show you a little bit about more about the standards that we have that are new uh, um, as of this year. But the portal is just a great place for you to find professional learning opportunities. Um, and it has really nice features so you can put them on your calendar. Um, you can share different events out on social media. Um, you can look for things that are near you. Uh, just a variety of ways to discover great learning opportunities. And and so that was, you know, one of the main things that I just wanted to share with you today. Um, the other is, of course, the Teacher Learning Hub. And with this, you know, with our Digital Blast series from the last two years, those recordings and discussions are part of two different courses on the Teacher Learning Hub. And this year, we'll also be having the recordings and discussion um, in a course on the Teacher Learning Hub. But if you have haven't discovered those courses already, I'm just going to take you to the Learning Hub here and um, let you know that there are facilitated courses that happen at a specific time and, and date and are facilitated by an instructor. But um, as with most of the courses that Christy and I are developing, um, we have self-paced courses. And I'll click into that in just a second, but just to kind of let you know, you know, again, our focus has been a lot on standards. Um, a new course is just a short one hour, one renewal unit, an introduction to the new art standards. So you can take a look at that, um, earn a quick one renewal unit and learn some basic information about the art standards. The other thing that I was going to point out here are the online professional learning communities that we've established for different content areas and different types of, of teachers in different um, areas that they might have interest in. And so that's kind of the shift from Digital Blast to online profession, professional learning community for teacher librarians. But um, as of last week, the math and history and writing PLCs kicked off for the year. Um, this is the inaugural library, teacher librarian, and then a science PLC is coming up as well. But also it's wonderful that Christy is here because um, she helps to facilitate the online writing PLC. And so I'm gonna actually go to that course. And Christy, did you wanna say a little bit about the Montana Writing Teachers Professional Learning Community? Sure, absolutely. Um, Bridget and Wendy, as you can see on your screen there, are the hosts and they are um, teachers at Skyview High School in Billings. And they had this idea last year and talking with them, we met um, at the NCTE conference in Minneapolis and they had the idea to really, how can they reach out to other teachers that are in maybe more rural um, schools that maybe don't have an English department with 10 or 12 other English teachers to sort of, you know, work together and collaborate with. And they really wanted to find a venue to collaborate with teachers across the state and particularly teachers in, in smaller school districts and in smaller schools. And so they had this idea to start this PLC and so I helped facilitate that with this go-to meeting format and I keep the request recordings online as you can see that you see the missed the last PLC you can watch it here and then I have the archived recordings of last year's PLCs as well um, here on this learning course um, on the learning hub course and you can earn renewal units for these by simply um, watching the video and responding to the discussion questions and one of the exciting um, parts of this PLC is we have an online writing activity after all this is really about writing and bringing teachers together to talk about about teaching writing and so we always have a shared writing activity and that just generates wonderful discussions and comments and we've had a wonderful time with that and we have teachers from across the state and across grade levels we have college professors we have pre-service teachers high school teachers middle school teachers we've had math teachers join us and really from all over the state so it's been very exciting 
I think well, and it's it's something that I've been able to participate with over yes. the you know the last mm -hmm. several several months. And one of the best parts about this to me is that shared writing experience. So mm -hmm. I recommend for any teacher librarian at any grade level to to consider um, you can earn one renewal unit for just um, going in and doing one of the sessions. Um, you watch the video. You can. Um, enter your responses on the Google document um, or into this discussion forum to respond. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's just, it's a really rich learning experience. You get to kind of um, connect, well, you get to connect with teachers from around the state and share your, your best ideas and to get, you know, advice or to get an idea that might spark and to, um, you know, have something that's going to help you with your practice. So that's, um, I think, one of the really neat ideas around these online PLCs is that it's not just, you know, sharing out information or a talking head. We're actually engaged in the practices, in this case, in writing together that really enrich our, our practice. So um, that's just one of the that's online great. PLCs. And um, just for the sake of showing you what this looks like. Um, there are two Digital Blast series. You'll see the original um, from 2014-15 and then 2015-16. Those are five renewal units if you complete the entire course. And again, that's going to be a change for this year is that you'll be able to earn one renewal unit at a time with each month that we have uh, this teacher librarian online PLC. Uh, so again, that's just kind of a, a, a shift in how we're doing things and I just wanted to let you know um, a little bit about what those things look like and thank you Christy again for being here to visit about um, the Arts Summit and then the Learning Hub online PLCs. The other thing that I'll just mention quickly and I'll probably um, be able to dive into this a little bit more fully next time that we visit is kind of the third part to this, um, uh, the tools that we're developing at the OPI to help teachers, to help support teachers. So the portal helps you learn about what's going on, what's available for professional learning. The Learning Hub actually delivers professional learning to, you know, your computer, to your classroom, to your home office, um, and uh, allows you to, to really, um, you know, learn things without having to get in that car and go down the, the road. So um, Montana Teach is this third tool, and it will be a place for you to search for online instructional resources. So high quality, um, the best of Montana resources in particular, but things that are freely available on the internet and um, that are searchable by subject and by grades and will include things like videos or um, some lesson plans, some websites that just have really great, whether it's primary sources or other types of sources for uh, for classrooms and for students to use. So at any rate, I just wanted to give you kind of a, a sneak teaser about Montana Teach and let you know that we'll be talking about it more in the months to come. Um, so uh, the other topic, and Christy has spoken about this a little bit and I've hinted at it as well, but we have three new sets of standards in Montana. In July, arts standards and health and physical education standards were adopted by the Montana Board of Public Education. And just this last Friday on September 16th, the Board of Public Education adopted new science standards. And so if you go to the link that you see on the screen here, um, it will take you to this academic standards page. And as you'll see with the example on the slide um, that that you see right now on the screen. Um, the art standards, you'll have access to a grade by grade document. Um, you'll st still be able to see the original art standards, but what we're really excited about are the addition of these model curriculum guides, and one for each of the five disciplines, um, dance, media arts, music, theater, visual arts. Um, so take a look at those, and those might be some basic resources that you want to bring in to the tension of um, your grade level teachers or your subject um, area teachers uh, and begin to take a look at how you might be uh, 
modifying your local curriculum. Um, we have some basic resources in the model curriculum guides that I, that we hope are going to be very helpful for you in that process. So um, if we go to uh, that um, website, I'm just going to pull this across over here. So this is the actual live website. You can get there by going to teaching and assessment, click on academic standards, click on K-12 academic standards, and then you'll see here um, with the art standards, this grade by grade document, it's a PDF. And as we scroll through, there's a table of contents, um, the introduction to the standards. With the arts, there are four artistic processes and anchor standards that organize this document. Um, and then what you'll see, uh, here's an example for kindergarten, is basically on one or two pages each of the content standards for that grade level. Media arts, visual arts, theater arts, music, and dance. So that just gives you an idea of what that document looks like. And um, you can take a look at the model curriculum guide. There is actually that hub course that you could take to dive into those more specifically. Um, I do want to show you health enhancement. Um, we have separate standards for health and for physical education um, with the new adoption. And you'll see the different versions of those standards documents, as well as a model curriculum guide for health and physical education here. Um, and then uh, just this morning, actually, or late this or early this afternoon, um, you can take a look at those brand new hot off the press science standards in that grade by grade format. And then um, in the next couple of days, we'll be finishing a model curriculum guide as well. And so you would come back to this page to and look under additional resources to see that model curriculum guide there. So, Christy, is there anything that I've missed with those three sets of standards? I don't think so. The only thing I was going to add about the arts was just that the addition of the media arts discipline is new um, uh, for the standards here in Montana. So to have that model curriculum guide with some resources linked will be really helpful to teachers who are sort of wondering, well, what's media arts? What is that? And um, how can I incorporate that? And there are some resources on there already um, for teachers to look at around that, that new discipline. That's awesome. Yeah, we're pretty excited to be at this stage where we're able to support teachers and help you get resources and provide some professional learning. Be checking the Teacher Learning Hub over the next several months because you're going to see um, more courses that are specific to the arts, more courses that are specific to digging more into the science, um, introduction courses for health enhancement and uh, that health and physical education area, um, as well as a uh, kind of an explosion of courses around writing. Um, we know that writing is a particular uh, need in terms of teacher support. How do I teach writing at all grade levels? Um, and how do I thoughtfully incorporate uh, writing into all of the content areas? Um, so just keep checking that teacher learning hub. Um, keep checking the professional learning portal as well, and you'll see all of these new opportunities coming up uh, as we move into this next implementation, kind of awareness and implementation here with the new standards. Um, so uh, I think we'll just model for you what this, uh, this document and this conversation looks like. This is very much in keeping with the, um, the writing online PLC and with the history PLC that we started. But um, at this point in our time together, we'll go to this document. And um, if there were others who were joining us, then we would be able to um, actually will will actually respond to these questions in real time and oh Christy is the anonymous hyena <laughs> <laughs> I love that That's fun today that is, that is funny um, but what this does is it becomes a living kind of a living document where we can respond to each other and kind of have a recording uh, um, of the things that we're interested, the things that we want to share. And so um, this will be open. It will be part of the Teacher Learning Hub course for this 
um, Digital Blast slash online PLC series, and um, it will be part of that that course that, that you can take when that is posted here in the next week or so. Um, but I'm going to leave these topics and these questions and we can circle back to these as we as we move through the course of, of this year. But in particular, I'm really interested to hear um, what professional development topics or issues that uh, you are interested in so that we can plan uh, the topics and uh, plan some of the resources that we could bring into the conversation. Um, and also, my other question, you know, what special events do you have planned for this year? If you have authors, speakers, uh, particular reading promotions, or, you know, just, you know, if you're kicking off a maker space, or if you're, you know, whatever it is that you do that's a special program, I'd like the opportunity to be able to share that. Um, and maybe visit with you and include something about that in the monthly newsletter that I do. So just let me know. Um, be in touch because I think we don't always uh, celebrate and, um, you know, kind of feel comfortable promoting the, the cool things that we're doing. But I think we all learn from each other when we share the experiences that we have. So that is kind of how this, this document and discussion part of the online PLC will work. And it's really nice. We just pick different colors and um, it, it actually, you know, gets very rich and very deep, especially with the writing PLC and with the history PLC that we did last week. Um, I recommend that you take those courses on the Learning Hub as well, just to kind of get into that and to, to move forward. So um, I'm going to let Christy type away there. And um, we decided that this would be a modeling opportunity. But just so everyone knows, if you go to the Montana Teacher Librarian, um, you can actually link to that document from my Google site. This is the Digital Blast page. It has the information for joining the GoToMeeting each month, the schedule. And then um, the other thing I was going to mention, um, I don't have the course open as of today for this series, but it will be very soon and you'll be able to earn one renewal unit uh, for each of the months that we're having um, this, this presentation. So um, be checking back again to the Teacher Learning Hub for that course as well. I always want to remind you that there's the school library or the Wired Montana listservs that you can subscribe to. Just send me an email if you want to be subscribed to the school library listserv or there's ins instructions on the Montana Library Association page for joining Wired. Um, check back on my Google site for new information. Join the Montana Library Association. This year, again, when you register for the MEA MFT conference, you can renew your your registration and I believe there is a special uh, rate again for teacher librarians so um, take advantage of that um, and the other organization I think you should be aware of is the Montana Council for Computers and Technology and Education fantastic group very supportive and um, I always love to plug the Montana Ed Chat the Tuesday night Twitter chat at 8 p.m. that is all things Montana education and you can also subscribe to my newsletter from the OPI website. Uh, there'll be another issue coming up in the next week and you can also uh, you can also access any ar an archive copy of all of those newsletters. The other thing I'd ask is that um, each of the times that we have a chance to visit like this together, if you just let me know how we did. Um, this is a short link to an evaluation tool and has asks a couple of really brief questions. But if you go to this link, um, I'd appreciate your feedback. You can do that whether you're listening to a recording of this session or um, even if we're if you're joining us for a live session. So um, take a few moments and let let me know what you think. Um, with that, I'm Colay Bartow. There's my email address and my Twitter handle. 
and I just want to thank Christy for joining me this afternoon. We'll get the recording posted here very shortly to my YouTube channel, um, and then it'll also be in the Teacher Learning Hub course when that is open. So thanks very much, everybody, and we'll see you soon.